Greetings and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Fairly and today we return to Soma. And I just had a nice relaxing even evening. Even. I even had a nice relaxing evening with Catherine here in her room. It was great, it was glorious, but all that of course can't be shown on YouTube. So use your imaginations. Oh, not the one I'm in to push. Alright. So it still seems to be why is that doesn't seem good. I was gonna say, why are some of these sealed? Stop it with the noises behind me! Why are some of these sealed and why are some of these... Oh, Mark Serang. That's one of the important names. Is that the same person that um, was in contact with uh, David Munchie in the beginning of the game? Because I, I'm not 100%, but I know that Munchie was emailing somebody because I checked the computer. Oh, this one's not locked at all. Oh, there's a booper. There's a Oh, I can't turn the lights on in this one. Well, I'm not going to boop that one now. That's a noisy booper. I don't like how noisy that booper is. Um in case things go to shit and I have to touch it to heal myself, which is entirely fucking possible. Something. Something's there. Oh, oh, I saw it. That looks like a weird waterlogged zombie thing, which is kind of cool to make it look like it's waterlogged. That's a really interesting touch. I don't know if I should open these. Was there another way over here that I could go? Let me check this direction first. Hmm. Stop that shit. Get I really don't like it when you do that. Why are the lights not coming back on this time? Why... Why are the lights not coming back on? Anyway, oh, that's right. There's just the, uh... Okay, so let's go back, uh... Oh. Can I look in? Of course not. This is probably a bad idea. No? Everything's fine in here? Interesting. Okay. Let's just close you. How lovely. Anything useful? Hmm. But back to what I was saying, I wonder... Ooh. I picked it up, I didn't drop it. Oh, look at the water that went on the bed from that. Or the liquid, rather. The booze. I mean, it's a waste of booze, but that's a really cool touch. Hey, that kind of reminds me of the uh, meteor um, design from Final Fantasy VII. That's cool. See, this one didn't break upon touching it. Of course, it broke when I did that. But, uh, anyway, David Munchie was the person that I met at the very beginning of the game and got synced up into all that, uh, got my brain scan done and everything. But he was emailing somebody. Was that Mark Serang? What is... Oh, okay. I thought one was locked. Um, there doesn't seem to be as much stuff as there was in uh, Amnesia when you're looking around. Is that anything? No. No, 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 no. Oh, that's a thing I can look at. Master tools, is that the Omni tool? I think that might be the Omni tool, I'm not sure. It said master tool. Oh look, chips. I wonder if I could find a chip here instead of having to go back down below. That'd be great. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to work out that way. I'm going to have to fight. I'm going to have to, uh... Oh, good. I wonder why some of them are just straight up locked and some of them are sealed. That's weird. But I'm probably going to have to go down below and I'm not going to care for it at all. Well, I'm glad the security cameras aren't randomly following me. Wait, that one says, caution, do not enter. Danger restricted area. Okay, let's check out this one first. Oh, boy. 
Robin Bass. Bass. I don't know which way they're pronouncing that name. That startled me right there. I thought that... Whoa. This is the person that killed himself. That we saw just outside of Delta. What was that? Are those undies? No, I think those are just like uh, leggings or something. Socks. Nice t-shirts. Is there anything fucking useful? Really like to find... Oh, there's, there's a uh, note. I wonder if that's a suicide note. Yeah, you're heavier to move. That's a nice touch. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Is that Robin? And why is she... Why did she... Wipe blood all over the other person? I wonder if that's Akers. Akers? I don't remember again. Meh. 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 This place was in another picture, wasn't it? I don't know if that's important or not. Can I break you? And release the flower? No. Alright, well, let's see. What's this? We're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Sarang and the... Continuity? Continuity? Is that what Sarang is talking about? Oh, that's right. Sarang was the one who was saying that everybody should kill themselves. Okay. Alright. Well, let's... Oh. Okay. It's just another bedroom. I thought maybe it was a hall that led around to that area down there. Please tell me I can turn the light on. Oh, good. All right. So what kind of shit are we going to find in here? I don't know if that was a good idea to close that. I mean, these things can materialize, it seems. All right. I can't read that. And... Oh, it's a picture showing the... Showing the goop! But I still... I don't know what that means. But he's at least studying the stuff. What is that? Is that one of those, uh... Machines that uh, I first saw when I first entered the um, out area. Okay, so he's got some sort of formula to describe the properties of the boopers. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Just all sorts of debris and. What is that? Interesting. Alright. No. Is that really all that's gonna be down here? I figured... Oh, there's a thing there. Okay, I'll check that out in a second. Oh, I can look at that. Hamatsu board, 55 approval. Um... The name is blocked out, so I can't see who it is. I was wondering if maybe it was going to be me. Right, that, that doesn't really seem to give me any info to help. Ooh, classified! Mr. Serang, the company is very pleased to hear about your success in making the WoW a station-wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr... Johan Ross is able to steer and study the WoW from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omic Omicron to... Um, is that the person who's Omnitool I stole? I don't remember. <clears throat> to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WoW is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. The Supervisory Board. All right. Blah, blah, blah. 
You get out of the way. I know there's the one in the desk, but I'm just searching to see if there's any other. Oh, what's this? I don't know. Is that the wow? Yeah, it looks like it because it says wow down in the corner. Carthage Industries. Is that the name of the place that I went to in the beginning as well? This is all very weird. I'm trying to figure out why the. What is that? Did you know that the human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells? They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days, while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans, as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. Yeah. Then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Mm -hmm. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Okay. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die. And continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. I don't know. I mean, I get what he's saying about when you're copied, the two versions of you will have different uh, experiences and that will ultimately make you a different person in each path. I get that. That kind of makes sense. And I like the way that that's brought up in the game. That's just, that's really cool. But I and I know he's saying that's that's why everybody thinks they should kill themselves. But to me that's no, no. I mean, yeah, it's cool that uh, a part of me or rather a different version of me after experiences uh, will live on forever, but the me that is me would want to continue living as well. It would just I don't know, so I don't know why he's getting all these people to kill themselves. I can understand one person going crazy, but how is how is this crazy being believed by everybody else? Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. To not frighten Catherine, I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down, quickly causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, know that there is no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I, adv adv nah. I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the Ark. Sincerely, Mark Sarang. Yeah. Yeah. I, there's no fucking way I would do that. Alright, so I'm gonna be out here now? Well, cool. Hey, did I? Let me double check and make sure that that security chip isn't going to be in here. It wouldn't be in the trash, would it? I don't know how I. I don't think I could find anything in the trash anyway. Um. Yeah, no, this place looks pretty barren. All right. Well, I obviously can't walk through this area. So, that means I need to go back to where all the scary was. That's great. Still don't like how the lights in this room didn't come back on. Yeah, I know the lights are fucked. I'm, I was just talking about how I don't like that. Oh. How did I miss this area before? 
Maybe I was just in such a panic to get away from whatever the hell those things were. Oh, there's no light in here. Hmm. Well, all right then. Oh, this is going to take me to where I just saw the other side. Oh boy. This is not good. Nothing? Maybe this area is safe too. Hey! It's one of those! Oh, is this where Catherine was doing her scans? Hi. You startled me a little bit. This is where I did my Ooh. scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Makes sense. The pilot seat. Okay. Oh! Wait, why would they be put automatically in there? I thought they were being stored to go into the Ark, not into that. Why does it show the person going into an aquarium? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. This is just the pilot seat. I mean, yes, this is where they did the scans as well, but this is where you would go to control the things. So... Troubleshoot. Unable to connect to mainframe, please reset router in the sub-level vault or... Yep. Okay, I do have to go back down there. I guess luckily it doesn't look like I need to be... Um... Oh, there's a webcam here. So I'm probably going to maybe see a video of Catherine once I get that back up and running. Ooh. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab. The scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the ARC project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. <clears throat> okay, that was some pretty cool, um... That was some pretty cool voice acting. You could actually hear the... The panic and the... Sadness... That was going on in Catherine's mind through that. That was good. That was... That was... Ah, I see. God damn it, motherfucker. Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Ah! And of course, the Catherine that I found would have no knowledge of everybody killing themselves because she was the first scan. The Nanami composition, compressed Nakajima, neurograph, continuous time, blah blah blah. Author, Nanani. Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, okay, alright, I guess that's okay. Uh. Munchie! There's Munchie! Oh, I'm gonna have to look at that one. I mean, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Compressed Nakaji, blah, 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 blah. Author David Munchie. Wait, was David Munchie the author of the other one? Name, Paul Berg. Okay, so I'm not the only person from way back when that came here. Look at this. November 27th, 1984 was when they were born, and they died 2069. And they were Canadian! I need to go back and look at this one again. Okay, so the author there, um, they were born in 97 and they died in 2021. Wow, they weren't very old. Okay, well, here's Munchie. David Munchie? How did this... What is this? Yeah! Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, Paul Berg. I think Paul Berg may have been the person that he was talking to in uh, emails and not Mark Sarang. Maybe. I don't exactly remember. Anyway, 
captured April 28th, 2015. So I'm guessing, because I don't remember exactly what day I supposedly had my shit done. Uh, so... Huh. Okay, um... Born in 80, died in 78. Also Canadian. Why was one of them Japanese? And This is me, Simon Jarrett. What is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munshi's templates. A legacy scan. Holy shit. Captured May 2nd, 2015 by David Munshi. Oh, whoa, I died? June 1st, 2015? Wait. When did the car- I can't remember when the car crash happened. I'm gonna have to go back and re-watch my first video to get some context for this. Did I die in the car crash and I had been scanned before and what I saw in the beginning was actually the Ark? And then I got pulled out of the Ark. I may still be in the Ark, but another copy of me was placed into this robot dive suit thing that I'm in. Holy crap, mine just... But thank fucking goodness we finally found out some reason why I'm here. Oh, that was so confusing and irritating, not knowing. Oh. Post scan. Okay, that's it. Wow. That was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... It was freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. And of course, since I was made from a scan, I won't remember any of this. Okay, so... We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. So does this mean that Dr. Munchie wasn't some devious, dirty bastard? Like I thought he was? The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? Lots of things. What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. That one, that kind of hits home, because uh, I've mentioned before that I've been in a car accident. I don't know if I should erase data. I feel like that might be a bad thing to do. But what's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. That is good to know. But I definitely... Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. 
Um, yeah, after my <clears throat> after my accident, I'm very, very familiar with the feeling of, holy shit, I'm alive still, it's awesome. This is where I would store the ARC scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense, less dynamic. Thanks, that makes me feel much better. What are these? Are these... Broken. Fast. I don't... Oh, wrong way. Whatever. I don't understand what these are. Are these the brain scans themselves? Damaged. Am I supposed to find one that's not damaged? Is this where I get the card? The security card? That doesn't make any kind of damn sense. But I have no idea why I'm talking as I grab these things and pull them out. Oh, 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 oh! Here's one that's not fucked. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. Holy crap, that's awesome! So does this mean I don't have to go down into the basement? Is that gonna be, let me just double, well I don't think I can carry multiple at once. Ah, yep, I need to turn it on before I can extract the what to do. Need to fix that mainframe connection. Yep, of course. Same problem, of course, yes it is. Damn it! Well, much as I would love to go back into that hellhole, not really, but as much as I would like to go to the next part of this, uh, this has been running on for a while now, and unfortunately, I won't be able to get to it now, which does kind of suck. There was not much action that happened in this episode, but a lot of revelation and learning about shit, and that's just fucking amazing. I am really happy to know why the hell I'm here. Ah, that's so good, so gratifying. So, that's gonna do it for now, everyone. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye! I'm not!